Warning. This show contains adult political themes and language. Liberals and little children should cover their ears. Welcome to Liberty Never Sleeps, where negativity never sounded so good. Now, 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 now here's your host, Thomas Purcell. I feel great today, and you know why? I had a cup of coffee this morning. That... <laughs> That's when got I the motor coffee, running, huh? When I have pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, pumpkin spice. I have am in a really good meal because it's available now in, in a lot of places. But I, uh, I drink it out of the Keurig, as you know. Yes. I have a Keurig coffee maker, and I swear by my Keurig coffee. I, I went to the supermarket, and I noticed, though, that the people were in those, like, 15-minute lines <laughs> to get – their their pumpkin spice coffee or whatever coffee of choice they have. I how do people do that? Get up in the morning, you know they're all like you know they got the the five o'clock shadow and they got their sweats on, and they're standing there. Are you talking about Starbucks? Uh, yeah, it was the Starbucks in the local supermarket. Okay. And they stand there and they wait in line for their stupid coffee. <laughs> well. To wait to pay eight bucks or whatever they pay. Well, this is not just the regular coffee they're standing in line for, Tom. It's a special coffee. It's a load of crap. It's oh, coffee, it's, folks. Uh, you know what though? It, it it isn't coffee, Tom. It's anything but coffee. There have you ever sat? Have you ever sat there and watched what they play? It, it's, yeah, it's I no know. Coffee yeah. I've ever seen. And they well, call gotcha. people that work there baristas. What the yeah, hell is that? Barista, a barista, a brewer, a brewing specialist, a barista. You He's a cashier. No, you know, baristas. No, they got to go through training. I know this because my a daughter bunch of had to do it. Well, maybe they oh, got to go through training, but I can tell you, I can learn to be a barista in about ten minutes. Nah, probably not. Well, maybe. maybe I always wonder maybe. what they do behind the counter with all them dials and buttons and sh- yeah. cup of coffee. How you go, honey? Ten cents. That's the way it used to be. That's the way I'm used to. Here you Depending go. Depending on what you've ordered, they have there's a certain there's a, it's it's very much chemistry. There's a certain amount of everything that goes in. What a waste. And they all it, you know what it all tastes the same. It's all coffee. It's coffee. <laughs> Doesn't taste the when same. I, when I go up when I when the rare opportunities that I have to go to a Starbucks or some other coffee shop I get in line. I get to the front, and she goes, "What do you want?" And you go, I go coffee. Oh, coffee. <laughs> right. She looks at me like I'm same from another thing planet. I do. Yeah, I do the same thing. I, I, she, they, it's they, like they don't know how to handle that. It's sometimes like, they got a wise ass working yep. the register, and she goes, "Oh, we got a classic." Yep. You know, classic. Well, that's what it's called, classic coffee. I go, "A cup of coffee." Well, what kind do you want? Yep. I said, and I look at her. I goes, "A cup of coffee." Like she's running on the planet too. Yeah. Like oh, she's got yeah. lobsters growing right. out of her ears. Yeah. Like, well, what do you expect? Want a cup of coffee? You want any uh, whip frappe mocha cap? No. <laughs> I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> I don't want a coffee milkshake. Right. And then I don't she want goes, a "What size icy. do you want? <laughs> what size do you want?" I go, uh, "We have a medium." Grande. There's there's no mediums. Yeah. I yeah. Go, what do you mean there's no me? There's grande. There's yep. Super Grande. There's Big yep. Mucho Dico. I don't know. Whatever they got. I go, which one's the medium? The Mucho Grande Grande. She goes, the sizes are here, and they're labeled. If you yeah. got to have a sign with the actual cup on it, you're confusing your customers. Well, that's just for you, Tom, because most most um, Starbucks regulars, they already have it down. Right. That's just Whatever. For, that's for medial coffee. I, or, you, know, you get a cup of coffee, pumpkin spice. I made made an exception. I get the medium, right. whatever that's called. Right. Grande or whatever. Frigo. Half, half grande. Whatever. I go, give me that. Want any milk or sugar? I, I can put it in myself. Where's the milk or sugar? Oh, you, you got to ask. They do it yeah. for you. And I'm like, just give me black. I can take my cup of coffee and walk away. I see the lines behind mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. And I go, what are you people mentally disturbed? You'd wait <laughs> in a line for 20 minutes for a cup of coffee? Yes. I never understood that. I won't wait in the line for anything. Nothing? I will not wait. Any nothing. And you know, Annie, you know, my better half. Right. The much better we, half. We can't go out in public and do anything that involves a line. Really? Yeah, I'll do something else. I if we got to go shopping, we got to do it at, like early in the morning. If there's a movie, we got to be the first in line because I won't wait in the line. Mhm. I will not wait in a line. Period. 
right. end of story. Especially not to spend money. That that's a that's a big no no. You don't spend money. You don't wait in line to spend your money. You want my money? You provide enough service to handle it. I won't go shopping at Christmas time during business hours. I won't go shopping in a mall where I got to wait in line. If I got to wait in line, it ain't going to happen. Period. Okay. You know, we were at a, a like an arts and crafts fair, right? Right. And you know how the arts and crafts fairs, they always have like craftsmen making the stuff? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to this one. And I think it was the Tempe Town Festival. Okay. Have you ever been to it? It's like the tents in the open air kind of thing. Yeah, I've, the I've reason, been, I, I think I've the reason I go to it is because there's no lines. So anyway, right. we get there, and I notice there's a line for something. Mm -hmm. And not just a line, a friggin' line that goes like around the Bank of America, down Tempe, and, and wow. back again. It was long. It had to be a two-hour line. All right? Huh? So I'm standing there, and I I say I gotta find Andy, I gotta find out what what right what, yeah what's and so, so great. I go up to the guy I go hey what are they doing giving away gold bars <laughs> and the guy goes no weather vanes they were selling stamped steel weather vanes with like acid wash steel that's all it was you can't really? mount them in a house you stick them in your yard they were just a, a steel stick with like a cock on the top. You know, and the, with, a, the, with a what? A cock. You know, <laughs> a rooster. A rooster. <laughs> and you know the north, south, east, west. Thing. Yeah, I know what you're talking that's about. That's all it was. And he was making them with a welding tool. You oh, know, that's funny. At the front of the line. And they were waiting. And I'm, I looked, and I go, "That's it? A, we a weather vane? Oh yeah." He goes there, and they're only twenty five bucks. And I oh. said, "You're gonna wait in this line? You're telling me." This line, which is about an hour and a half long to this point, to buy a $25 weather vane? Yeah, because they're like 100 bucks when you buy them in the store. I go, you are you fucking brain damaged or what? And he goes, no, what do you mean? I go, are you kidding me? And the guy up the guy up at the front was making them as fast as he could make them along with two other guys. Wow. And what they do is they stamp it out, and then they weld it, and then they wrap it in some plastic and go, here you go, 25 bucks. And they were cash only. Right. I said to, I said to myself, you know, I wish I was 20 years younger. I'd hold this place up. I mean, it's 25 bucks of cash every month. Right. There had to be like five grand in back. Oh, yeah. Hell, you know? Mm -hmm. So they're they're making these weather vanes, and everyone's looking at me like I'm damaged because I won't get in line. Right. Oh, you're getting in line? You can't cut. You can't cut. And I'm like, I don't give a shit about you and your weather vanes. You know? I, I go to the front. To ask the guy, you know, how much is it? Maybe there was a mistake or something. They're giving one for a buck, maybe. And the guy there says, don't cut in line. I'm like, relax, pal. I'm not going to cut in line for you stupid weather vanes. I don't want your weather vanes. So the rest of the day, as we were walking through the Tempe Town thing, every time I saw one of these jerks walking with his weather vane and the plastic back to the car, I go, oh, look, a weather vane. There, you don't see those every day. <laughs> real, real loud. Ugh. So the guy would feel real stupid <laughs> carrying the weather vane. You're something, Tom. Everybody on that guy's block is going to have a weather vane. So that's why you do a lot of your shopping online? So that's why I do shopping online. Yeah. But you won't wait online. No, I won't wait online. Shop online. But I'll shop online. <laughs> right. It's two different things. Yes, they are. I'll have my pumpkin spice latte. Oh, that's funny. Whatever they call it. Pump of pumpkin spice coffee. I have Starbucks every day. How do you do that? Well, I told you I don't stand in line. I brew it at home. You're going to get a Keurig it's just for a me. It's just a regular coffee. Annie and I are going to give you a Keurig for well, Christmas. Well, that's I fine. I appreciate that. Then you're going to have Blanche when you go to the supermarket and see how much the Keurig cups are. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're not cups. cheap. No. they're about, Actually, I buy them online, so they're a lot cheaper. Of course than you do. I have to ship it out. We've already established that you shop right. online. I don't, you don't, don't stand in line. No way I'm going to Macy's at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that. You're funny. I used to work that at Christmas time years ago. I'll never do that. Hey, I hated working there. Hey.